My name is Bramwell Tovey. I'm the music director of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the War of the Romantics between Johannes Brahms and Richard Wagner. These days we describe classical music as being something that applies to almost anything played by a symphony orchestra, even if it's contemporary, we think of it as being in the classical genre. But actually the more specific term classical music concerns Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven, and the composers who came in the pantheon after them, people like Schubert, Schumann, Brahms. Uh, and now where does uh, Brahms' great contemporary Wagner fit into that then? Well, Wagner regarded himself as part of the classical pantheon because he in fact uh, regarded himself as the successor to Beethoven. So we had two successors. We had Brahms and we had Wagner. But whereas Brahms wrote entirely instrumental music, songs, um, works for chorus and orchestra, uh, Wagner w wrote almost entirely dramas, music dramas, operas. Uh, one, of course, that famously lasts four nights. And um, these two composers were dramatically opposed in every way possible, but both of them uh, fall under the umbrella of a classical genre with a small c. Classical music, classical genre. Okay? In Wagner's view, um, Beethoven was going to be a romantic composer, but he died, and of course uh, somebody had to assume the mantle, and he, the great egotistical uh, master chef, as it were, of uh, opera, decided that Beethoven was in fact um, a romantic composer, leading towards uh, romanticism with uh, his classical works. Whereas Brahms uh, always felt that Beethoven was looking over his shoulder, and in fact, when Brahms wrote his first symphony that we'll be playing on the second night of the festival, um, we hear uh, perhaps even a hint of the Ode to Joy theme. It's very definitely a classical symphony, um, but it's the kind of piece that Wagner would never have written. And similarly, Brahms never wrote an opera. We'd love to welcome you into the Orpheum to witness the War of the Romantics, a very calm and sedate war. Classical musicians going to war with each other is not something that's anything like Game of Thrones or anything like that, much more like, like Downton Abbey. But you can actually experience these two camps, these two worlds, uh, side by side. One night, Brahms' German Requiem, and the next night, the Ring Cycle, um, in the incredible arrangement by Lauren Marcel, The Ring Without Words. Uh, it's a chance to really hear these two composers next to each other and really begin to decide once and for all um, what all the fuss was about in the 19th century. Because now we regard them as being all great composers in our pluralistic society. Not so pluralistic back then. <laughs>